Abbey Road Studio may be the most well-known recording studio of all time, thanks to the endless list of world-class musical artists that have recorded there. Topping that list, of course, are the Beatles, who put Abbey Road on the map by naming their final recording after the studio. But so many other artists have called the studio complex home over the years, from classic bands like Pink Floyd to modern-day acts like Lady Gaga, that there are simply too many to count. Thanks to the efforts of its in-house engineering department, RED, recordings made at Abbey Road have a distinctive sound. Their extensive equipment modifications and in-house designs produce the classic RED tube consoles, the solid-state TG series desks, and a host of specially modified and designed outboard processors. Everything from amplifiers to EQ to dynamics, all of which contributed to the quality and vibe of the many projects produced in the studio's various rooms. But while Abbey Road is famous as a recording studio, it also offers mastering services, courtesy of several mastering suites. These suites incorporate a collection of classic gear for general mastering processing, as well as the specific tools needed for cutting and pressing vinyl records. And that's where Waves and this course come in. Waves, in partnership with Abbey Road, has for some time offered a bundle of plugins modeled after Abbey Road's most distinctive pieces of analog gear. The red tube consoles, solid state TG12345 desk, modded Studer 4 tracks, RS56 passive EQ, and even the hardware setup for the famous Abbey Road ADT effect are all part of this collection. And now Waves has added Abbey Road Vinyl, which models the equipment and sound of the studio's mastering facilities. The vinyl plugin includes emulations of the Neumann cutting lathe, two turntables, and three different cartridges, along with extensive controls for the simulation of all the artifacts and nonlinearities that contribute to the overall character of vinyl recordings and pressings. There's even a section that models the circuitry of Abbey Road's vintage mastering board, the TG12410 transfer desk. But unlike the vinyl cutting and pressing models, the TG12410 emulation is only of the signal path, not of the actual processing in that board. But the TG12410 shares much of its processing with the TG12345 recording and mixing console, and Waves already has a plug-in modeled after that desk. So if you wanted a more full-featured processing section for a more complete Abbey Road-style mastering solution, you could combine the EQ, filters, compressor limiter, and stereo processing of the TG12345, all of which are the same as, or very similar to, the processing in the TG12410 transfer desk, with the full-featured vinyl production options in vinyl, for a full array of Abbey Road-style analog mastering tools. And that's what we've done for this course, which will cover those two plugins, Abbey Road Vinyl, for all the actual vinyl processing bits, and the TG12345, which will stand in nicely for the 12410, providing TG-style EQ, filtering, dynamics, and stereo processing, as they'd be applied in mastering, to round out the complement of mastering and vinyl pressing tools. Along the way, I'll not only go through the relevant controls and options of both plugins, but whenever appropriate, I'll also touch on a little of the history and design of the original gear that these emulations are based on. But first, I'll do a very brief primer on the basics of mastering and vinyl production for anyone who feels they might benefit from a little background. 